Continue. All right, let's hit the order of the sisters of uh, order of the sacred rose. Sisters of battle. Sisters, battle sisters. Sisters order. Order of the battle sisters. I can't fucking remember what they're called. Well, that's embarrassing. Um, I'm also looking really fast what kind of stuff. Oh, we got a nice. That's really neat. We don't have a tomb spider yet as an honor guard unit, which is really useful to uh, to help pushing on the front line. Um, at least we are pretty good as well. So let's just attack their main thing. What do we get when we conquer it? We will get forward bases. Okay. Well. Wow, that is actually pretty neat. That's a uh, ninety less. That's like fifteen percent less. The sisters Money. of battle rely greatly on their faith. It is their sustenance and their shield. When they first came to the tainted world of Kaurava, Confessor Turgenum March was quick to see how much holy light and fire it would take to cleanse the four planets. He therefore brought the living Saint Anias and placed her in their primary bastion in Sama on Karava I. Following a secret and ancient practice, the living saint was imbued with the inviolable aura, an aura of invincibility which would prevent any chance, he thought, of defeat. Guarded at the last by this inviolable aura, the Sisters of Battle marched with great surety. Who, in truth, would dare oppose them? What adversary could faith and fire not sweep from before them? In the face of chaos and vile aliens, the Sisters of Battle merely redoubled their fervent prayers and penances and fought on. They came to believe that glorious victory was the only outcome. The idea that any would dare attack their mighty bastion was unthinkable. The possibility that their bastion could fall beyond belief. Good she comes. Sisters. The living holy saint of the Emperor, Saint Anias, Scourge of Heretics. Now, in the name of the Emperor! Done. May the Emperor's blessing carry us on to victory, sisters! We thank you, honored martyr. So... It is true, then. These blessed shrines will confer... invincibility? Indeed! Within each shrine lies a true and sacred relic of the Ecclesiarchy. Now that the edifices have been blessed by a living saint, they confer upon her the inviolable aura, as scribed and fervently mastered by the great Ecclesiarch, Jonasiah Vuonis. And wherever she goes, no harm may befall us? Precisely. Neither our persons, nor our belongings. One pure bright candle amidst a sea of filth and darkness! That is well said, Canoness. This is a tainted system. It may, in fact, be irredeemable. Then we shall purge it with fire. I have yet to find a cinder that was not faithful in its praise of the Emperor. All is made ready? Yes, mistress. Good. These would-be conquerors shall have a taste of our fire and faith. The Emperor will punish them through us. All right, let's uh, 
get a move on. I'll be honest, with the Scissors of, scissors of Battle irk me within uh, within 40k. Um, there... The time of battle draws near! There's supposed not any like that the the faith in the emperor is supposedly false right the guy's a man not a god but they hold these like godly powers um of faith especially in later lore which is really odd in my opinion um and like i said it, it genuinely irks me that that is uh, that that is a thing um this doesn't make any sense right why do the space marines not have you know any of that power um why um because they are devotees of the emperor most of them i guess why would they not be right um so yeah there is a sense of of annoyance within me every time i i get the sisters of battle also that they represent like the worst parts of of um religious zeal um which is a, like, I, mean, I guess a, like a personal gripe um, it's like if you look at the penitence engines, like holy shit, that that stuff is 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 not okay. Um, the way these guys treat people that 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 in in their eyes falter in their faith towards the emperor is that's brutal, man. That's really harsh. Um, so yeah, I think that's a mixture why, uh, I genuinely dislike the Sisters of Battle in, in multiple regards. It's like one lore-wise I find them odd. And then the other is, uh, yeah, it's just the way that they are. Their belief systems, all that kind of crap, it just feels like, I don't know. It's not, m not made for me. Not made for me. I should not reinforce those because as much as I oh whoa 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 ho, ho, ho. I thought we were attacking them, but it seems like they are attacking us. Um, hi. Can I please teleport you over there? Okay, so there's a melee which prevents them from you know fucking around a little bit too much. Um. Some of them reinforced, I guess, but it should be we should be a little bit more careful. Um, there we go. Um, we got some power generation. It's not a lot yet. And there's a lot of sisters of battle in here. Wow, these both of my immortals just stood back up. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Alright, maybe I should take a little bit more of my time to, uh... Um... Attack. Like, build up a little bit of an army. Blah, blah, blah. Like I said. Religious zealots. Maybe that's also the reason why chaos irks me, because they're so anti-everything, like, ex to extreme. Uh, might be that in faith or rational thought just kind of leaves the uh, person, I guess. But when, when faith becomes like a, rep uh, a, a replacement for any sort of true or scientific advancement, I guess that's when my brain just kind of just is like, you know what, no. This is wrong in multiple ways. I need to get these guys occupied for a second. Um, because a lot of people, okay, so this, this is actually, this might also play into a little bit of a different gripe that I just generally have with, um, um, with how the church is, is, is viewed by people, um, very unspecific, I know. But I'm talking specifically about the Dark Ages, uh, and a lot of people claim, uh, like, well, the reason that we are where we are today and not more technologically advanced was because of the Catholic Church, which is a 
gross oversimplification of a very tumultuous period in time. It was not just because the Catholic Church existed that was religion. Uh, religion didn't stifle technological development as much as people want to believe it. It is actually quite the opposite. A lot of religious development happened throughout the church. A lot of engineering still happened. We did not religiously go, we did not go te technologically back, but we might have stagnated a bit. But I think the biggest contributor to that, and I'm not an historian, so just know, you know, take everything that I say with a bit of salt, as you should do when people say something without quoting any specific sources. But as far as I understand European history, uh, one of the biggest downfalls for technological development was simply the fucking downfall of the Roman Empire. They were the ones that did a lot of this technological advancing and 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 and, and such. But with the barbarians, as they called them, and a barbarian was not somebody that wasn't not as technological advanced as them. Quite on the contrary, they could be as just as advanced even more, but they just simply didn't speak Latin. They didn't speak their language. That was literally the only qualification that you needed to be called a barbarian. In this day and age, however, it has a little bit of a different meaning. But we, the Germanic people and the Frankish and, and, and a lot of other people, they started pushing into the Roman Empire. One, because of, you know, long felt abused by them, but also they, it was possible. The empire became so utterly corrupt that it allowed um th that it allowed its own collapse and with that a lot of information that was present at the time got lost but the church was one of the few institutions in existence that would copy this the i think a lot of people think because galileo made a claim that the church uh, that the planet that, that earth was not the center of the universe but that you know that, that it, the sun doesn't revolve around the earth but the earth revolves around the sun uh, that's the later stages uh, where the church already started feeling a loss of its power due to the coming of Islamism. And that's where a lot of any scientific developments that would complete, that would um, uh, go against religious dogma, uh, then they would, you know, be hesitant. But they didn't destroy, remind it just, they didn't destroy Galileo's work. They just told him to denounce it but they rem they still i think uh, believe they own the original copies of its work um so it's an entirely different story than than it gets told like the, the church actively suppressed all forms of knowledge and advancement well they did not uh quite on the contrary a lot of development that actually happened exclusively happened through the church because they were the ones that were predominantly capable of reading and writing um, and had the time to do so. A lot of monks dedicated their time in the uh, regaining knowledge lost and, you know, uh, a lot of engineering happened because of the church allowed it. They would fund these, these large projects because they wanted to build like larger churches and everything like that. And what do you need for that is engineers. So it's a... Massive oversimplification when people tell you like, oh, the Dark Ages are called the Dark Ages because of technological uh, oppression by the church. Like the, we were not allowed to do anything. No, they were the Dark Ages because we talk about the collapse of an empire and massive power struggles that followed suit. Um, and a loss of technology because of the inept nature of the roman empire also jesus fucking christ we do they do not let up do they this is gonna be a while before we can actually get anything done because of the fact that i need to keep protecting my my everything um but yeah it's a very interesting topic uh but it's 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 very misrepresented in in uh popular culture and and modern media uh, and it's a lot more complex situation, and I highly recommend reading into it uh, if you ever have the chance, because it's a really interesting period in human history, which has a it's very uh, wrongly represented um, in, in popular media. So yeah, a little bit of rant while I am repeating stuff that I've done for over a million times by now, and trying to prepare for the uh, coming battles. I'm building up everything. There we go. Um, you we have a nice, sizable army, though, by now, so that's pretty good. Um, 
I think I've mixed up my... Yeah, I've mixed up those. Okay. Um... So yeah, interesting. I, I find this really interesting. Um, history, I always find history, history interesting, but what always surprises me that a lot of it is uh, destroy crusade recruitment centers. Okay. Weaken the force of the crusaders. Yeah, that's what I kind of thought it would happen. Anyway, um, yeah, history is rather interesting. I think we can learn a lot from it. And uh, uh, I think also history is oftentimes abused to uh, by people to... Um, uh, serve their own agenda which is like the worst thing that you can do with it I think uh, personally I need to find my immortals there they are let's get rid of these turrets because they hurt quite a lot oh um Get my immortals in the... Okay, I need to concentrate for a second. Um, okay, I need to engage monolith for that. Okay, that went better than I expected. I don't think I lost a single unit. Nope, I did not. Okay. Alright, attack these centers. Forgetting that my regular like squats are actually really powerful because they they become incredibly tanky, a lot more than these so-called immortals, which are just more like a heavy weapons team. But they definitely do not become immortal. Quite far from it. All right, uh, so that's one. Um. Okay. Good. Uh, can I... I need to get up here. So I can capture it. Because mm, we definitely are going to need the... Um, this reminds me, I need to get that one. I need to get a Resurrection Orb. I'm actually not going to take the Veil of Darkness. Uh, I'll take the Nightmare Shroud. A little bit less uh, faith in their own emperor might actually be a good thing for us. Um, upgrade that, grab these guys, and move them over here. Attacking these static positions is still like the worst because they got a lot of range. We do not really have a lot of range. We do not do the most building damage. Um, I there, there we go. I do have a greater core. Of course I do, because I fucking built one. Um kind of stick with what I have right now. That's okay. Okay, we've got a couple of sisters that popped in, but seem to uh misunderstand what is going on here. It's their deaths that we are facilitating, of course, and uh Wow, that thing is sturdy as hell. Doesn't do as much damage though, or it might be my Necron Lord that is just being a fucking boss about it. There we go. All right. A couple of these uh, Death Cult Assassins. There we go. All right. Yeah, that's definitely one of the the bigger worry points for me is that uh, I need to be able to get back. Luckily, I can get back very fast. It's not that I cannot really attack any really fast. Alright, cool. Um, let's move them over here. Um, let's select all of these because I probably can hold them off with just two cannons like this. Get the other one right here ish. It's probably not be able to build because of the fact that there's infantry right there. There we go. Uh, I like that. Once they're getting close, we'll be able to do that. Um, 
cool. Right, um, strategy point captured, set a listening post up that, I guess it's the 60% speed. I think the next uh, target we're gonna hit is right here, then we're gonna move on to the relic, because that will allow me to get some more lovely, lovely buildings set up. Uh, I still need a damn energy core, so let's build that after we have done uh, that one. Bam. We already have that upgrade, very good. You are fortunate I so far, I think we're progressing rather good. Um, well. That's uh, annoying, but uh, halt fighter production. Oh, that is the sector that we're attacking, so that's rather good. Uh, and lucky, I guess, that that's uh, the way it is set up. Okay. Um, I'm afraid they might go back for this one, so let's build a like slight defensive structure for that. I want the commander to take out combat. Dispatch the assassins um. immediately. Alright, so this looks like a pretty okay defendable position. And they immediately, you know, go on and fear whatever's going on. Uh, right, so far so good. My lord is, however, retreating, which is not so good. Uh, my mortals are take making very quick work of everything. Um, let's hit that, actually, because... Um, Okay, we're good. That guy has one dead. I want to get a group of uh, pariahs in here as well to assist with the frontal attack. I think I lost my flesh terrors. Yeah, they look like they're all dead. Damn it. Alright, we'll wait for a second until that thing is finished. Um, repair that, get these guys and capture this. All right, we got our pariahs. Um, there we go. Oh, damn it. Yeah, like I said, this is what I'm afraid of. We, we are already seeing enemy movement back towards capturing these points, which is, of course, one of the easier ways to take care of Necrons if they can't really get their, you know, big stuff going uh nightmare shroud is in however it seemed luckily we attacking our base through that direction so we don't we're not having to worry too much about that capturing this moving up a little bit further up oh, there we got another group of buildings um okay, that guy is at least killing that crap out of these celestine sisters what is there's battle sisters just a regular battle sister I, my, what might have been one of my gripes is like a space marine is is like this this uber genetically engineered soldier and a sister of battle is just a very zealous person and they share fairly similar levels of power which in my opinion is utter bullshit how can that be as one um, is a genetically engineered soldier, the other one just has faith in his emperor. Like, if you compare it to the Imperial God, right? This is your regular human in, in superior armor kind of deal. The regular the Imperial God is not capable of, of competing with a damn space marine. As funny as it would be if they could pull that off. And yes, there might be... Uh, might be some exceptions, like Marbo Sly, I believe its name is, which is like the best Imperial Guardsman ever. And uh, should be one that we try to uh, imitate and venerate at all times, but... Uh, Sly Marbo, I think it's, that, it's the name. Not Marbo Sly, my apologies. Or misrepresenting the... Demon of Catachan, I believe is his nickname. I can't, I can't really, I'm not really well versed in all of the lore, but uh, some of it is not that bad. Some of my lore knowledge is not utterly garbage. Um, let's get these two out. Can I put this like on automated repair duty so that they will automatically repair anytime they, you know? Close. And upgrade that. I need you guys to uh, mosey on out of here. Uh, 
that will be fine. That will take care of itself. Right. Um. We are not yet short of the faithful and ready for battle. So far, it's. They're like the. How the fuck did I just was you know having an entire rant and like how the Imperial Guard is is weaker than the Battle Sister, but so far the Imperial Guard have put on a better battle than these damn Battle Sisters. I have to say, I am not impressed. Not in the slightest. Um. So yes, maybe I should have attacked these lovelies first. Their emperor seems not to be protecting them. And then there's of course the invulnerability shrines that they're gonna have, and it's gonna be probably gonna be annoying, and we're probably gonna bypass them in some way or another. Because as far as I understand, the Catan are the only real gods that are alive and well and kicking, if you can confirm if you can call them gods, to be honest. And they shall ever fail. By his faithful they shall be crushed. They shall be burned and surely cast into the pits of horror. Boo fucking who. Right, let's move the lads over there. Get you to capture that. Get you... No, not you. You. To run some repairs. Oh, that's just annoying. Let's blast him. Blast him. Oh. We can, of course, still build some buildings. Let's do that. And... There we go. I don't know why they're not part of the battle group anymore, but... Uh, let's see, objectives. Okay. That will be their immediate citadel already that we're targeting right now. So far, so good. Oh, that squad's nearly dead. I don't know when that happened. Tapping through the list, and yeah. Well, well, well. Can't do that, of course. Wait for that relic to be captured, we'll immediately plop out this lad. And, uh... We'll be fine. Um, yeah, I am really happy with how things are going. It looks, uh, looks like we, uh... We're going. I think the biggest difficulty with these maps might be the, um... Um... Are they actually cheaper? I don't know. Um... Actually, what is this one? Is this gives me the Lich Guard Noble Elite? Okay, so this one is the Crypto Thralls. I didn't really like. Ah, well, we'll uh, pick the first one, I guess. It doesn't really matter because it's the only unit that I will wield is the Lich Guards, anyway. Um, Relic has been captured. Let's immediately plonk down one of these and get up to ninety-one percent. Lovely uh, speed. Let's get this guy. We got already got those upgrades. We'll wait for that unit to, uh, to arrive and then we'll advance, advance, advance. There might be some immortality problems going on, but you know, we will deal with it as it represent it presents itself. Well, two of those. That will be also the limit of that the amount of buildings that we can actually produce. So. I limit a little bit of, I mean, of turrets, of course, not the actual amount of buildings, because that would be re really, really shameful. Gotta love these names, though. Doomsday, Ark, 
Annihilation Barge. This is a edgy kid's <laughs> dream. I, I love that. I love that idea, though, because if you know, how can you sound anything that sounds remotely cool? You can immediately just kind of negate by saying like, you know, it sounds like an edgy kid's dream, and then people are like, you know what, fuck you. Um, that thing is gotta be annoying because I don't think I'm hitting. It. Oh no, we are we're, we're attacking it. Good. Okay. Um, I th did that kill one of my scarab units. No, it did not. All right. Halt Exorcist tank production. Uh, as annoying as it is, I actually have a better alternative to halting that production as just murderizing the main base. All right, let's go. Be the guide and shield of our sacred tanks. Sacred tanks sounds like a very presumptuous thing. Well, let's teleport right there. And show them the face of a true god. Alright, apparently I cannot attack the base until I have done all of that. Um, get the fuck out of there! Thanks for giving me the heads up, though. Um, Oh, fucking who. All right, so we have a couple of things that we need to do first. Yeah. And here I was thinking I could cheese myself past all doing all of that. Seems that we, uh, you know, well, let's just clear out the map. As things are going, I'm not really overly worried. All right, let's send the vehicles um, over there. Oh, look who is stuck again. This is probably why they gave him a jump drive, because they realized, like, that plane is going to get stuck every single time. Actually, I can probably bypass a lot of the trouble that I need to do with the plane. There's a lot of damage. That this these things don't seem to be protected. Also, there seems to be a living saint on the back of it, but <laughs> oh, at least on that one, there's a living saint. Oh, it's, uh... I'm actually damaging it. No, I don't think I am. Well, I don't know exactly what's going on there, but... Alright, um... We're well defended. I have some population remaining, but I don't, don't really know what I want to do with it. I could res let's restore a monolith, actually, while we're at it, and uh, let's rebuild another monolith right there. Why am I not damaging it? What happens if I teleport this guy right next to it? Is it? Okay. And wherever she goes, no harm may befall us. Precisely. Neither our persons nor our. All right, because she's there, I cannot kill that thing. Del, that sucks. Good to know. Because she's at that shrine, I cannot kill that shrine. Uh, well, this thing is stuck again, as usual. For fuck's sake. Okay, these things are annoying. Uh, what do we do? Do a straight on attack right on the first. Let's first uh, group up right there. That should hopefully prevent like stupid little Necrons from going through the base, like this damn thing. And this damn squad. Yeah. Power. 
Um, sent this one over here. This is the quintessential example of slow and steady advance, this damn thing. The uh, restore monolith, because God, it's slow. Oh, there is actually some stuff here. Let's kill it. Alright, attack into there. Prolonged battle, not because it's hard, but just because it takes time. Eh, it's not the worst. Alright, let's start upgrading this, because um, otherwise I won't have one. Kind of shame that you cannot really uh, rebuild like the monolith right there, because it still considers this like its home structure, sort of, sort of, sort of like-ish. I don't know exactly how that works, but eh. it is what it is. What you gotta do? Strike terror into the enemy. Well, there are sisters everywhere, but... Jesus, that half that squad just got wiped out by a single shot. I'll hit that recruitment center as well. Uh, you... Oh, that's... Oh, wait, do you have a recruitment center right there? No, but it does have buildings here, so... Why don't we teleport right into the middle of that? And... Start murderizing them. I want to hit that thing first. It's kind of annoying that my army is now splitting. Let's make it a little bit easier to check if my troops got any wounded. Well, the answer often is no. It's a good thing to check. It's not like the orcs where it's easy to see if, like, hey, I'm no longer at max production. I have wounded. Full of faith, we march from convent to convent. Our numbers grow, and so are my. Uh, I don't want to ruin your spaghetti, but uh, so far you're mostly just dying. Like, we're barely losing anything. It looks like your faith is not really working well against Necrons. Even though in the, uh, the uh, like the Indominus books, uh, I think it was Indominus Crusade thing. I don't know, I've got the box still laying down right here. That's actually the kill team thing. That's the kill team Ad Adominus box that I've got laying there. It's, um... Oh, my flesh terrors are a little bit wounded. Why don't we, uh... Does that work? Can I resummon you? Oh, I can! That's rather interesting. Alright, we'll send the uh, monolith to over here. I just saw there's a random missionary there. Boom! No longer. Sororitas converts. Well, we lost another Necron warrior right there. And all in all, I think we have very little losses. Nope. Nope, that is very, very poor for them. Also, I can see that thing over there, and I'm really looking forward to capturing that. What are you doing? Attack move everywhere. Why don't you go back home? Actually, both of you can actually go over here. We've got a point we can capture there, and we've got a building that we can do there. We'll probably arrive around the same time anyway. Immolators. Uh. Sorry, that noise I just made, in my brain, I just heard a very scary version of the Scooby-Doo. <laughs> Sorry if I ruined that for you, but that's just what my brain made of it. Oh, I got a nice little force uh, moving out of there. The Confessor at the front. Well, uh, okay, we're taking losses. Enemy is finally managing... Finally managing to get something done. Uh, need to occasionally need to take a look at some stuff. 
Also need to keep an eye on if I got any losses going on. I think I lost some squads actually. Some entire squads got wiped out before I could reinforce them. No, 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 that's actually not true. However, once this guy deforms, I can probably resurrect this group here. Yep, there he goes. He's uh, shrinking back in. Um, and... Resurrect. We can get some... I uh, can pass the... Uh, max unit marker. Uh, do I have the feeling I lost some immortals? Nope, there they are. They're all here. Uh, I didn't even lose a vehicle. Just got one stock, as usual. Even my Death Touch Blade ones are still alive. A miracle. I did gain. Yeah, I did gain some extra units, though. <laughs> Just one, it's not a lot, but I did gain an extra uh, squad of Necron Warriors, so that would seem to be worth it. Alright, why don't you uh, start moving in? But I confess, though, their buildings are rather well defended. And kill that thermoplasma generator, please. Got another group of workers that really wants to build something very, very cool there. Alright, next up, another recruitment center. It's gonna bite the dust. Say what you want, these pylons are doing really good work. And this thing is still working on getting to here. <laughs> Oi. Can you start building it, please? But I can't reach it? Uh, something funky going on in that corner. <gasps> We're finally getting towards 100% awakening. Imagine being kicked, ass kicked this much while we're still sleeping. Uh, did I lose a worker? No, I did not. I just got the feeling like every single time that I'm losing shit, but I'm not really losing anything. It's really insane how well... Okay, you're stuck. I can't really see this. What is over terrain features like that? It usually just gets stuck anyway, so I might as well liberate it before it gets truly stuck. So... I think we're mostly getting stuck on our own damn pathfinding right now. Come over there. Get that damn turret. Uh, we'll set, set this pyramid over here. Minor losses once again. Move over to the next one. We can actually get that. Oh, we uh, of course we need to destroy those things because that's one of the reasons. Okay, I thought for a second you were stuck, like in nothing. I really need to attack. Okay, well. That's annoying. Uh, we can hit that thing. Uh, 
I'll keep this uh, here. Um, I probably gonna go move you. Let's see. Consider this is the fastest unit that I have. I can probably just send it over here and hit this building. Uh, we got a listening post up there. Alright, that's been built. Grab that. Oh shit, I need to ungroup this guy for a second. Um, hit the buff building there. I don't know about the ranges on this thing. That's decent. Alright. Stuff is definitely dying here. Raya. Oh, he's rising out of his own again. That's the annoying thing. I can sometimes see units die, but then on their own they're resurrecting themselves again. That's how I wouldn't say it's annoying. It's just uh, a little bit difficult to keep an eye on some, th some stuff because of that. Um. Wait, is she protecting it now? Oh yeah, she is. Okay. But that means she ain't protecting it here. Uh, oh, my pariahs died. That's not what I wanted to do. Oh well. I think I'm not gonna resurrect here. Accidentally hit the wrong... I hit the transformation and not the resurrection. Yeah, definitely lost the pariahs. Okay, um, they're... Four in... Yeah, and these are five. <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna actually get this construct already built. So she'll stay there as long as we're attacking it while we can move, just freely move into this base and destroy that one. Because there's only one angel. Uno Anglesi. Wait, did something else finish? Why am I at 20. Huh. Wait, what? I guess these must be a four. Oh, no, they're four, or four. Okay, so that still makes sense. Okay. Alright. Really weird. This entirely religious esque looking everything, and then a couple of those. Um. I guess they died over here. Yeah, there they are. Look at them. Look at them. Let's raise them from the grave. Oh, wow. I think I got more than I wanted. I didn't get my... Shit. I did not get the units I wanted. It's not bad. It's just... I wanted my melee guys back. Uh, nah, it's. I don't think I can re. Ah, oh, there's some of them over here still. I can probably try that again in a, in a couple of seconds. We have the enhanced recharge rate, so. Okay, whoa, 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 get the fuck out of there! Meantime, could you please just completely wreck that one? Oi. We rather broken. If you're gonna keep following me around. Like a bitch. Um Well, shit, I guess. Um Well, I don't know, uh Technically it's a flying unit. Well, start wreaking havoc in the back here, I guess. Oh fuck, I just attack. 
Uh, I'll send this thing over here to destroy that. That saint's there. Is that saint dying? No. I swear to god, the only reason they have this, this functionality is because they get stuck. <sighs> Wait, I got another one? Oh no, she just retreated back here. Okay, that worked. Well, well, well. Here, have a Necrom base in the middle of your base. If the angel shows, I'll just send this guy down and destroy that damn pylon. Or any of these. Out of factoriums, I think that's what I need to hit anyway. What's the objective here? Destroy the shrines of the living saint. Eh. That living damn saint's preventing me from doing anything. I'll just, uh... Go for the second best thing. That's the base. Kind of a shame that we cannot get the uh, like the th four biggest units. Yep, there we go. Damn, there you go. Hit that. All right, so you can't teleport you. Well, well, well. Look at that. Um. They are resurrecting on their own again. Okay. Uh, where the hell are you? Okay, you're right there. Go, go. In ruins. My shrines. In ruins. Whoa, unto us. Well, look at who is dying rather fast right now. Is all lost, and yet we must fight, sisters. We must Don't fight you. and go in glory. Fight with what? I don't want to ruin your day, but I do actually want to ruin your day. But I think everything that you have is dead. Pretty damn dead. Oh, did she damn resurrect? Well, that's a uh, tricky business. Still died. Alright, well, might as well start capturing these. Look at that. Lovely green glow. A healthy green. <laughs> Still need to uh, conquer the rest of the planet, so this stream is gonna go very long. Actually, I'm already an hour and a half longer than I normally do, so I hope you fucking appreciate it, goddammit. I enjoy playing this, but I kind of want to finish it. Um, I want to finish it this week so we can. Because uh, I'm, pr I, I wouldn't say I'm done with Dawn of War One, but it's the it, the rep the repetitiveness repetitiveness of it starts hitting pretty badly. So yeah. Well, there we go. <laughs> We must go as martyrs! We must go in flames! In flames!
The brave soldiers of the Order of the Sacred Rose had fully believed themselves girded and steeled against all assault. Most of all, in their own bastion on Kaurava I. So their surprise was great indeed, when the Necrons came upon them with irresistible force, making mockeries of their flamers, tanks, and acts of faith. Those weapons might have sufficed against the mortal and the living, but alas, the Sisters of Battle faced an entirely different sort of foe. A foe which no prayers succeeded in averting or casting down. The Necrons swarmed across the cities of Sama District, swallowing whole all that moved and crushing all that did not. After this was done, where prayers and organ music had once been heard, silence reigned. Silence, except for the dull throb of the Necron generators and the dull thunder of the Horde marching off into the distance. Alrighty then, let's continue. I think we have got three more quick battles to go on this planet here. First we need to end the turn, because otherwise they uh, can't do shit. Thanks for progressing rather nicely. Tomorrow we're gonna finish off the last three, which is also gonna probably gonna be a long stream considering we need to conquer three like capital holdings. Um, and these are pretty well defended, all of them. Um, so yeah, I think I'm gonna strike on this one first. We lost. Quite a little bit more than I thought, actually. I'm not... Ash, fuck, look at the amount of requisition I have. I might as well buy it. The Shukan Coast. Sounds like the sunken coast, but then just with more effort. Looks like the amount of effort they need to... to you know, whatever. Um... <laughs> Uh, I'm expecting them over here. Let's just strike early and carry a big gun. Uh, you there? Go for cap. We have quite a lot of crap that we could probably capture rather easily at in the start. I think I'm gonna focus on that. Right, there we go, that's that one. Right, we're attacking Imperial Guard. For a second I needed to figure out what the fuck I was doing again. I just... had a... mass attack against the, uh... Sisters of Battle, so we need to mentally adjust again and we're attacking the Imperial Guard. Right, there we go. Got a listening post there. Got a listening post there. I'm gonna send you over there. Once you're done, go over there. Once you're done, I think I really need to keep at least one of them at home so that I can get all of the building done. As much as I would like to just exclusively focus on him capturing everything, there is actually this thing called a base that I actually need to build. I know. Even though, as things look right now, that base might be uh, dead and gone before... Uh, the enemy base might be dead and gone before I have built my own, so... Things are going rather well. Sadly, don't get the opportunity to start with a crisis suit, but... Uh, can't have it all, can we? Uh, so, let's uh, actually attack some of these in... Actually, the Imperial Guards itself. Uh, that's being captured, that's still being captured, that's being captured. That's being captured. That's being built. 
to listen for the uh the thing where it's just like hey we've we've finished the capture let's hit those fuckers will you where are these guys oh they're right there it's kind of funny we don't we don't suffer the penalty of uh, of attacking in the water okay, we're slowing down a little bit because I think that's because of the um, I don't know what it is actually so go there go there Go there. Go there. Go there. Um, I might be unnecessarily losing units by now. I think we're running with second base. Uh, against the second base here somehow. I don't know exactly where that... Ah, it's right there. It's, I guess, somewhere back here. Um, but it's not... Oh, 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 Let's keep this guy here for now, actually, even though I would rather have him out of harm's way. Let's move him out of the water, even though I believe they don't get the debuff modifiers. Let's just group up here for a second. Build a, build a couple of those. Um... Ah, look, see? There is already a outpost there. Um, so we're definitely running against two enemy bases. That might explain why my initial attack did not go as well as I had hoped. Um, however, that still doesn't mean that we... Uh, Cannot keep them contained a little while longer. Um, really need to keep these guys on a hold ground stance because it's. Got this. Fuck, it's so easy for them to build guardsmen. It's insane. Alright, repair this guy when you're done. Um, that's the wrong building. You can't do anything yet. There we go. All right, so at least we got our side fully secure. Um, all right, that's cool. Okay, you should definitely be standing there. Uh, same thing here. We'll keep this guy on, like, holding attack pattern. Um... Um, you can start going back and build that. You can stay there. I want to keep these guys over here to capture that once it becomes available for us to capture. Um, hold position. There we go. So buildings don't get cheaper. Oh, okay. Let's uh, let's just move out of here. That doesn't look good. I definitely gotta need some immortals to fix that. Oh. That guy is sturdy as hell. They, they, he must have some, have some war gear. Capture that, will you? I sort of really like the fact that... Oh, fuck. Did my commander die? Uh, to answer that question, yes, he did. Ugh. Not really great when that happens. Oh, come on! 
Ah! I'm fucking up a lot. That guy is uh, pretty resilient, I'll be honest. Holy shit. I'm playing like ass, so that doesn't really help either. I never thought it would be a quick, easy victory, but it's uh, proving to be everything but. Uh, I shouldn't really underestimate the Imperial Guard when they're still young. Are they young? Early. Fuck, I don't care. I'll stick with that. Alright. I really want to start working in some reinforcements. Alright. Um. 340. And there's still a few of these left. 225. Let's get that one in the at least in the list in the in the build order, the build queue, the build whatever. Start building it. There you go. Okay. Let's rebuild at least a couple of them while we're at it. You know, get those numbers up. That guy is stupidly sturdy. Holy shit. And now he's gonna run away before I can kill him, probably. I'm gonna let him. If I can get the chance, I will snipe him, hopefully. Jesus, he's not taking any damage. That's dumb. Is, is he regenerating faster than I'm fucking killing him? No, there we go. A second I got scared. Alright, um... There we go. Got that one up and running. Oh, I just still need to get, you know... All these Necron buddies in. Oh, we got a. Apparently, got an attack bonus. I don't know from what. Uh, it doesn't matter. Alright, got those guys fully reinforced, and I still need to reinforce these guys. And I think I'm also gonna put in a immortal squad with them once the upgrade's complete. Oh, I got two here. Um while you're here, might as well build me one of those. Still need him. Could have saved up the points and go for an immediate one of those, but it is, it is, it, it, yeah. Do 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 do. It's good music. All right. Okay, right now I need 250 points to upgrade that lad. Alright, so we've got all of our generators finally, I think. Yep. Cool beans. Right. Let's uh, get that. Actually, cancel that. Let's build this thing first. I'd rather have the early power than anything else. Yeah, I'm kind of glad I took out the Imperial Guard when I did, because they are pr proving to be the more annoying enemy. Just because the fact that they are so... Holy shit, okay. Well defended against everything. 
Holy crap. They're dug in and everything. All right, well. Um, let's give my Necron Lord that upgrade. Let's get myself 250 resources, requisition power. Anything that represents me getting stronger, at least. There we go. Um, well, we already have the first lads dying. Let's see if we can retreat this guy out for a second. Alright, um... Hit those. Dug in guardsmen, because good god, they can hurt a lot if I let them live. Okay, Dokley, alright, they them are dead. Well, let's retreat you for a second. Break that pylon. Focus on units for a sec. Oh, shit. Well, that guy died before I had the chance to reinforce him. Okay, um... Shit's dying, though. That's good. Oh, god. That includes me, apparently. Retreat. Uh, well, we're at it. Might as well run a sneak attack in the back. Um, definitely need more mortals. And resurrection warp. Was that resurrection? Yeah, that is resurrection warp. Uh, and bah, I need an energy core, I need an upgrade of monolith for that. I need a whole lot of stuff that I don't have. Okay, uh where there's a lot of corpses right there. Uh right there. Okay, cast resurrection. Holy shit. There we go. Holy shit, there's a Necron army in your base. That's really brutal, though. Fucking love doing that. Okay, you thought you had me dead? Haha, <laughs> no, you were wrong. Here I am, fully alive again. Probably gonna die as well, but, you know. At least I'm trying. Um, let's see if I can get these guys to... A little while longer. <sighs> Holy shit! The Imperial Guard is so annoying to fight. Did not anticipate the amount of annoyance that they are. Holy crap apples. Okay, we destroyed that. Move on to the next one. What did I lose for taking this? Three of them. Okay. Reinforce them. Holy shit, biscuits. This is a brutal fight. Like the initial attack that we did on the other map where we got the weaponry gate, it seemed like an easy target to take out, but boy, I was wrong, apparently. Oh, we're like, as long as the slow and steady advance thing still keeps going, I am fully okay with it, but... It's... Troublesome. Okay, um... Also, these heavy weapon steams are redonkulous. Alright, funny anime base, okay. Um, that upgrade happened, so we can build this thing, and that hopefully can, you know, allow me to build... A couple other nice little things. Let's get the Nightmare Shroud. You know, fuck their morale. Ooh, God. That's an... Uh, fuck. Well, alright. Let's uh, do this one again. I'll read it. Let's take a look at the upgrades here. Yep. 
That's actually resurrected things that I don't really want resurrected. That's funny. I'm running out of resources, but uh If I can move some of the weaker squads back. Let's just move everything back. Let's see if I can get it out. We'll try a lot of large push again soonish. Okay, uh, that attack there apparently didn't go so well. Okay, one base at a time. Got two of the elite versions, I guess. Um... As much as I would love to take that one, uh, plasma battery is more important. Um, get that increased power generation. We'll stay here for defensive purposes. Now what I could do actually, if I manage to capture that point, we can get the... Um, uh, subspace Spire for the Titan. Our Titan version, at least. Let's go for that. Because that will surely help us in the battle. That doesn't. I don't know what will. Right, so... Advanced Titan building. God, I have the worst spot for a base. Eternity of quiet and cold. Oh fuck, we're working on snow again. Alright, so that's why my movement is so atrociously slow. That's really crap. Okay, finish. Oh, you guys can assist with the building. Um, I think I'm gonna ignore um, this for now. I can get that one. I'd rather. I think it's 750 for the Titans. Let's we'll, we'll plunk the Titan in, and then we'll just get uh, this guy. Because I prefer that over any of these two. As much as fun as they are, and then we'll see how much room we got left. We got a six. We got a eight. I believe so that's 14. So I think I'm gonna get the Doomsday Arc. God, oh, you're kidding me! They're now bombarding me with artillery. Yep. Yep, they are. I don't know where to get the vision from, but. Uh, I'm just trying to attack the obelisk. Um, right, this building is ready. Oh, I still need to capture the critical location, of course. Um, got quite a large amount of resources available, so I might as well start picking it up. Oh, definitely want to keep that relic alive. Snow passed. Well, it seems that they are attacking, so... Well, at least we're moving at a decent fucking pace again. Alright, let's try another high ground attack. Nope. Spring. Jump up there. Go there. Okay, we got the cap location captured. Good. Build that thing. Do I have enough for the... Yep, I do. Might have them now. That initial attack they did did not go well for them. Uh, some stuff is still dying. As usual, everything, every single building that they have fires back. It's like attacking orcs. Thank God I haven't have, haven't had to need to fight those yet. Well, there we go. We'll send that against that base. Right now, I think we'll be okay. As things stand. Got reinforcements in time. There we go. We're good. We're good. Okay. 
Uh, yeah, that Titan is gonna make mince meat of everything that they can put, throw against me. Okay, I got room for six, so we'll take the arc, set it over there. Um, quickly built this thing somewhere. Right there will do. All right, that's one of them down. Just need to f finish their last buildings because they are not getting wiped out. my guy okay um I'll try another resurrection here all right let's keep uh keep going securing don't know where that basilisk is firing from. I do not appreciate my time being wasted. Right there. So there might be another base here? Holy shit. Well, snow it is. Fuck. Okay, so Necron Uber Slowness is back on the menu, boys. Blew that up. Okay, this Cryptac is still providing nice little Distraction here. In the meantime, while you're trying to defend that, can you build that? Are you stuck or attacking? Oh, he's attacking, okay. Hmm. I think these boys are gonna die. Yeah, population's still full, but yeah, yeah, I was afraid of that. We're gonna find, like, I think we're gonna find bases everywhere. Why don't you go over here? Um, and where's that liar? Um Oh, these guys are still alive. I think they didn't get finished being built. Okay, they didn't capture that. Um. They lived. They goddamn lived. And then we got the uh, Serp uh, Serap Tech attacking in the back. I need to find the remainder of it. I do not appreciate my time being wasted. Well, it seems that we found it. Kathan re uh, research for him. 
Well, this proved to be a lot more problematic than I anticipated. Holy crap. But the end result is here, so... Uh, that was nearly finished. Well, what else is there left? I don't know. Oh, there is a small little outcrop in here. Well, that did not live long, but uh, the Necrons are already inbound. I said I had a big guy, might as well. Assist with the destruction. Well, that takes care of that. I think I friendly fired one of my scarabs, yeah. Wait, you rebuilt that damn base? Son of a bitch. Why did it just hit that for me real fast? Please, turn around. There we go. Hit that. There we go. You capture that relic. There we go. Jesus, that took way longer than I had. That it needed to. Ah, oh, 20 minutes. 30 minutes. Not the worst. But, you know, I need to remember to save after this real fast. Because I really don't want to redo, I believe, two. Um, like, I don't really want to redo anything, but especially not any... Uh, any uh, those base-killing, uh, race-killing missions. Fall back! Fall back! Oh, well. Alright, um... Attack! Well, everything's dead again. And again, I think I generate so much requisition it doesn't really matter anymore. Alright, so this is a level 2 defense, so it shouldn't be as difficult to get. I actually don't really know. What do we get when we attack the sisters thing? What kind of bonus did we acquire? I actually can't remember. <sighs> wow. I gotta say, streaming like this reminds me of my olden days of recording, where I would record 14 videos per week. I'm kinda glad I don't do that anymore. Because that was rather... ...strenuous. Um. Uh, well... Let's go over there, I guess. And, uh, let's see what we can end up with. If I send you here and him there, we can actually see if there's any other bases that we need to keep an eye on. Ah, we're not even close yet, alright. So they're not here, that means they're mostly over there. And if they're not here, that means they're over there. All right, cool. Meet up right there. Let's start building some of these. No clue why I set up my scarabs right now. Oh, I actually got a capture point right there that I kind of forgot. Let's capture that real fast. Oh 
Oh well. Um. This wasn't a strong position for them, so hopefully that will make it a little bit easier for me to capture it. If I can find the enemy. And they're here. It's the only other logical position that they can have. Probably want to build the summoning core before anything, really. But uh, we'll just ah, well, fuck it. I have all the time in the world. Um, well, there we go. That's an imperial guard. That does confirm my suspicions that they are coming from there. Hmm. It's also very easy to to lock them up there. I actually mean that I want to kind of clean that guard squad up that I got there. What a relic. Um. The sleep of ages waits for them. Ah, there we go. Capture that. Once you're done, why don't you build this? Why don't you build that? Or Reddit might as well uh, plunk down three of these. They're free anyway! How did you assist uh, murderizing that? Alrighty then, we got that captured, we got that captured, once you're done you can start capturing that critical point over there, once you're done you can start capturing that relic over there, and that's all getting worked on as well rather nicely, once you're done you can start building another one of these, once you're done you cannot do anything because then we're out of money, which apparently is very useful if you want to get anything done. Alright, um... Alright, so we're decapturing thoughts. Finished capturing you. Well, if only we actually, would actually use requisition, we would be so strong right now. Alright, build that, build that. And waiting for 200 points so we can get the uh, disruption field upgrade in. Which makes our units a lot stronger, so... Alright, well, let's start already attacking the primary... Enemy base, there we go. Alright, um... First that one, of course. You're still working on that, you're still working on that, you're still working on that. And that means I'm still missing one, yeah, right here. And my wraith died, but it doesn't matter, as I am already. I think this, this is the attacks that I and kind of wanted. Got them their shotguns. I think they do more damage anymore. Fact against infantry demons and an infantry morale. Well, that sounds like it's perfect. Oh, my obsidian destroyer is still alive. Let's get him out of there then. Why do we uh, try to get out of range of that one? Oh, look at him. He's standing right back up. A smart lad. Wait, do we have another base there? Where are they coming from? I don't know. Oh, heck, we might have. I thought I... Checked. Hmm. 
Why don't you wait over here? You can sit over there. Oh, we're already done. Seven minutes. See, that's that's the attacks that I like to do. Quick and easy. Another group of Death Touch Flayed ones. We'll menu save. Yeah, you crash once and you become pan 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 paranoia almost. Alright, end the turn. Uh, Alright, yeah, check what I got for uh, defeating the Sisters of Battle. Alright, what did I get from them? Slash for basis with attacking approaching structures along with your honor guard units have them produced by your HQ in a sort of battle allows you to circumvent certain tech requirements. Oh, that's the thing that I got. Well, cool, but... That is a pretty powerful start, actually. Well, let's attack. That makes it a whole lot easier. It also means I'd only need to build four more generators instead of the other amount, so I can spend a little bit more time working on other bits and bobsies. Plus, you know, those buildings remain when they at the end, so it's pretty pretty useful. No, regardless. Alright, Kora Korav City is the next mission. Um Peace. You check that and not you, you need the upgrade. Where's the other one? You check here. Let's uh, immediately get that upgrade. Um, uh, whoop, there we go. Cool. You know, starting with four generators. That's uh, spicy stuff. Now the question is, where is the enemy? With any other species, I wouldn't really put that much focus on generators in the early game when buying them. Okay, we found them. Found one of them, and you're already dying. Alright, let's uh, make you invisible for a second. And, uh... Yippa! Right. I like this map. This looks really cool. Like a really cool map. It really, really does. Oh, I think we have two enemy bases. That explains the eight. Um. Right. Um. Wow, he uh, wrapped on my scarab. Rude. Very rude. Well, considering that I don't really need anything else. Not really, at least. So this does allow me a lot faster attack. Eh, fuck, these turrets are melting my ass. Alright, let's let's uh, let's just hold here, lock them in. This is just... I'm just seeing units melt right now, and that's definitely not what I really like to see. Okay, keep you over here. Oh, come on. Get your stupid ass out of there. Um, can you... Oh, you can't, probably. Those things are already near death. No, I should retreat them, but... Bigger summoning core. After that, you can go back on with those. Actually, cancel this, because that one's not even finished yet, and I think we want to save up for the uh, heavier research. Okay, move over there, move over there. 
Squat there, because I want to get those generators. That's a little bit too much. A little bit too zealous, I think. Um, can hold a can do some things so let's keep him there but uh that should should be a little bit more careful so i've already lost quite a few units so it's a would be a bit of a waste if i would keep going like this and um well here i guess i noticed the fact that i did not heavily focus my generators at the start as much as i normally do oh crap i was blinded get him out of there my attention for now, special arrow world. Structure to the special arrow pit now. We seek those guilty for this mess. Alright, let's get this upgrade. Um, let's put him on this position. All position uh, at 125. Okay, so that thing is done. Good. Capture that. A little bit too zealous. Kind of funny, considering that I'm finding the most zealous lads out there. Yeah, so when I, when we're fighting at anything like a, like a four or five or less, I could just do a very heavy at attack early. If it's anything more than that, I probably need to take my time a little bit more and prepare for the um, potential danger that it brings. All right, 150. We can start setting this one up. Okay. Um. Ready, got the power upgrade. Okay, cool, 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 cool. okay things are starting to look like it's getting like we're improving a little bit. Now we need to get the army up and running. I lost so many units on that initial attack. Such a fucking waste. Luckily, I still have my immortals. Okay, so this is now fully up and running. Okay, we want to prevent those damn sisters from taking the middle. Um, yeah, I got ready to get two over there, so that's okay. Um, these snipers might be useful. I need some more mobility type of troops. I think you can get there. Um, this is probably a bit... No, we can actually fourth this, so why don't we see if we can... Uh, first things first, we need to, you know, clean it out. And then... I think we've got to defend this by two large pylons. Have 
fuck, I just got my uh, scarabs crapped on. Um, it's probably defended. Yep, 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 yep. Well, while we're at, while I'm Rome, I guess we can might as well start moving in on that position. Make your request. Um, is it Lass? It's Flame. It's Inferno. Okay, for a second it looks like a Lass weapon, so it was a kind of scared crap out of me. Um, come on, there we go. Okay, upgrade you. It's not bad where we're at right now. We control, we control most of the map. Right, one base versus two, so I wouldn't really call that it was to be in a bad position. Um, why don't you... Okay, we can't take the energy core yet, because that's not... We're still in tech level two, actually. We're not even in tech three. base considering we have not had as much counter-attack here as we had in the other one so we'll cleanse this one first now I control two bases as well so you know no longer as much of a difference between in, in our power levels We'll rally point this on our lord. The first one. Got the tomb guards. Yeah. Built this guy. Rally point him on our lord, as you should. Alright, got a couple of nice little ditch guards. I don't know why there are four of them. I thought maybe it's the other one bigger than? Oh well. Um got our Titan construction building in. We can also build, I think. Yeah, definitely this is the weaker base. Um, energy core upgrade there, and that one is going to be a little bit more expensive, but we'll wait on it. Um, yeah, looks like... Uh, wow, and this thing is uh, very nice for defense. Here, it's because it prevents it from from the back attack here from really happening. And, uh, well, there's some flames being used against. Ooh, let's let's uh, you know what? Hey, look, I've got this guy. Oh, well, now we can build this up. Where are those Lich Guards? Oh, right there, okay. Um, Thon Summon. You can actually get these guys in as well. Lovely Praetorians. Alright, wipe out the rest of the base. So upgrade this thing. What the hell is going on? Go over here. And yeah, now we just nope, we don't wait. We just wait for we got twelve hundred power, and we'll just send this thing into the enemy base. Let's 
speaking of which we can actually upgrade this um why don't we overload this real fast and just get the unit out as soon as we can we can afford it Let's see if we can capture that, just for shits and giggles. Alright. There we go. That should be them all off. Yeah. Why don't we, uh... Quickly just repair them again. Silence. Right. I heard the breath of no longer aliveness. Reminds me of the uh, one of the noises that is uh, made in um, black and white. Even though that says actually death, I think it's uh, when you have like aging issues. And uh, yeah. Anyway, um, that thing is nearly done. Why don't you uh, guys, by the way, help with the repair of all of these. This repair goes at a decent rate and it's not like slowed as the um, construction of the energy pylons. Boy, that will be annoying. Let's run a couple of upgrades. I have quite a large amount of power remaining. Not that I think this is a position where after we get attacked. It's just might as well, you know. All right, that got captured. That got captured. When you're done, you can capture that. When you're done, you can go back home. Wow, they've got a forward barracks here. Not a factorium, actually, but still. Look at that puppy. Oh. It's gonna kill the lot of you. Spot another one of these. Really well. Reversed Praetorians. I think with that I actually ex accidentally overrode all of my army. I think I got everything selected. No. No, I do. Yes, yes I do. Titan is gonna kick their ass. They can't stop that. They can't fucking stop that even if they throw it. You rarely actually get to build this thing because usually by the time I got this thing out, I already have the other uh, large vessels. So it doesn't really make a lot of sense to start deleting one of them for the other. But, well, you know, occasionally you get lucky and you uh, get yourself to get a Serap tech heavy construct. They can get stuck on your infantry if you don't move it forward. Just move it. Pathfinding is the bane of the success of this mod, I guess. But I think that's, you know, where the game just kind of craps out. And then, you know... If they could fix that, this would be a lot... Would be almost, like, perfect, I guess. But it's 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 literally the only thing that I'm like, yeah, no, this 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 annoys the living shit out of me. All right, that is that. The entire army to just a click move there. Pristine sanctuary, some more manufactoriums. We'd be good. There we go. You annihilated the enemy, and I think that's it. Gonna be it for today because we finished two more planets. That means. We are doing pretty well. We got another Necrom Necropolis Death Touch Guard unlocked. Whoops, I am gonna save in case the game decides that it wants to crash on my ass. Then I'm just gonna end the turn. And uh, yeah, call it for now.